Hello, Les from Thailand, and today's video is going to be about more scams. Two scams I'm going to talk about today are cyber blackmail and the horny housewife scam. The um, cyber blackmail will, will start from that one. Originally, it it came from America and, and England, and I've heard about it, what was happening in, in England and, and America over it, how they managed to blackmail people through online peep shows, to want a better word. So the cyber blackmail, it's quite clever how it works and quite easy to set up for these people to be able to do it, and scrupulous people who are gonna do it. So this time of COVID money short, people turn to many, many different things to be able to obtain money from people. So at the minute in Thailand, there are many, many chat rooms where you can talk to the ladies via your own private chat rooms. And that's prevalent throughout the Pattaya district and Bangkok. And it's just growing more and more and more because the girls find it quite easy to be able to, to get money. I've heard of a story of one girl getting 150,000 baht a month just by doing live chat shows on the webcam at her business where she works. So anyway, the online cyber blackmail, it's genuine, it works and many people are getting scammed through it. it it's been mentioned before in, in the UK for sure, I've seen it on the, on the news and also now it, it's happening here in, in Thailand and I've seen it on, on uh, Thai Visa with regard to blackmail and basically how it works is that many guys still want to, to come over here to Thailand but because of restrictions they can't so they set up online websites or online dating or online private rooms where they, they're just them two in a private room and everything's recorded so consequently the girl does one or two shows for the man and he gives her a certain amount of money for being able to do them shows and then they sort of form a bit of a relationship and then it just goes on from there and then they get a bit more friendly and talk about social media on Facebook and things like that and they just extract the information from you because they say that they like you and they want to be able to form a relationship with you and really what they're doing they're just fishing for the information so when you stop showing interest in them or stop sending them money they'll email you and contact you and say if you don't give me money I'm going to share all of your private doings because they've videotaped you doing whatever you're doing in your room and they're going to show it all over social media so that's where the blackmail starts and you're in another country they're over in Thailand how are you going to stop them from doing it and many people would feel ashamed if, if things like that got shared amongst their Facebook friends or Twitter friends and you know how it works so that's one of the scams that's happening now in Thailand so all of those people who are talking to the girls in private chat rooms over in Thailand be very very careful as to what you're going to be showing and what you're going to be sharing with this girl in the chat room because you may get scammed and you may get cyber blackmailed through this and the second scam the horny housewife I'm still laughing a little bit about this because this has been going on for years and years and years and I actually know a little bit about this because my friend who was a likeable rogue some 20 years ago used to do this and it's sort of still working now it's sort of an evergreen scam and unfortunately blokes fall for it and um, they get conned and, and cheated out of money out of, out of stupidity really you know as, as if that's ever going to happen so how the scam works in 20 years ago when the internet wasn't as, as widely available as it is or social media wasn't like what it was 20 years ago people read adverts in, in the papers, local newspapers and there was always a column towards the back of the paper horny housewives, frustrated women, women who want to date you for free sex things like that, that's the hook and that's the lower and you sign up with all your details and you, you, you pay them a, a payment and and then it goes on from there but actually you don't get anything it's it's still the same now it works on the internet they still have the internet adverts and they, they come up on various websites and for you to sign up and for the horny housewives frustrated wives frustrated mothers 
etc 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 you know what happens you know what the adverts are saying and it's the stupidity and gullibility of people who actually sign up for these things so i'll give you a, a case scenario of my friend who, who used to do it my friend who used to do it used to have the adverts and people used to ring up and somebody was there to take all the details of the man and relieve him of his 45 pound admittance charge to join this site 45 pounds it was this is 20 years ago once the person's joined the site um, they get a phone call maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes after they've actually joined the site and again he had a group of ladies who used to work for him that used to ring these gullible people up to make them think oh it's a genuine thing I, you know this is what i found so what happens this lady rings the, the person who's just joined the, the site funny enough and asks leading questions as to where are you from where shall we meet i've seen your profile on our description and i, I want to come and meet you so they ask the questions and the way they ask the questions is that you give them the answers for instance you're going to meet in, in a, the Red Lion pub in your town at 8 o'clock. So they know, because you've told them where you're going to meet, and they're, they're confirmed, oh, so the Red Lion in your street, in your town, okay, I'll be there at 8 o'clock. And if the guy asks, well, what do you look like? She says, well, I know what you look like, but I'll be blonde hair, black dress, black jacket, and I'll see you there at 8 o'clock. So the potential guy goes to the to the pub or the bar or wherever to meet this girl and she never turns up and if he rings up their complaints department or rings up the, the site they say well the girl might have changed their mind actually the girl is never ever going to turn up so and he might get another one or two phone calls just to keep him hooked to say well yeah yeah okay this might be genuine and then it just goes on from there. Do you want some videos? Do you want some other contact numbers? Do you want some escorts? Somebody will come around and... So it's sort of upselling from that initial 45 pounds um, hook to get you hooked into the system. And in reality, who are you gonna to complain to? Gonna to complain to the trade and standards? Say, listen, I've signed up for a horny housewife and I haven't got one. <laughs> They're just gonna, gonna laugh at you and tell you to go away. So therefore, that's an evergreen scam. It's still happening today, even on all the adverts that you see. It's such a con, but people fall for it all the time. For those people who like watching my videos on my scams, I hope you've enjoyed these two simplistic ways, but people uh, relieved of their money and nothing else. <laughs> and that's the way it works. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments down below and watch my further videos so from les living the dream in thailand till the next video bye for now